Hello, how are you? Today, let's start checking your answers. I want you to get your module, get a pencil or your ballpoint pen. Okay? Let's learn. After going through this module, you are expected to first identify and describe the characters and setting in stories listened to or read. Number two, write a short descriptive paragraph about a character or a setting in a story listened to or read. Let's try. This is the paragraph. Let's check your answers. Number one, what is the paragraph about? It's letter B, chilled strawberry ice cream. How does the ice cream taste? Letter C, it tastes good because of the additional flavors. If your answer is A, it's also correct. It tastes delicious because of the added biscuits. Number three, what does the ice cream look like? It's letter B, it looks colorful because of the pineapple and the bright red strawberries. Number four, how does it feel in the mouth? It is creamy and has smooth textures. Letter A, the last one, number five, how does the narrator feel about the ice cream treat? Letter C, he is thankful. Let's recall. What you are going to do here, kids, you're going to complete the paragraph. Let's answer this. Bob got a new car. He saved a lot of money for his new car. It took him a long time to save money. His new car is red with a black top. The top can go down. The top can go up. When it is warm, the top will be down. When it is cold, the top will be up. All right, his new car is cool. Let's explore. Number one, what is being described in the selection? The selection describe a different summer. Why do we have to stay at home? We have to stay at home because we cannot go outside to play and enjoy other activities. Or you can say we have to stay at home because of the COVID-19 or the coronavirus disease 2019. It is dangerous to stay outside. Number three, what are your realizations during lockdown or staying at home? You can say, during the lockdown or staying at home, I learned to do household chores. During the lockdown or staying at home, I started to love following my favorite TV shows. Or you can say during the lockdown or staying at home, I spend enough time with my family. Do you have other realizations? Okay, that's great. It is, is it important to follow rules and regulations implemented by the authorities? Yes, it is important to follow the rules and regulations implemented by the authorities to be safe. Let's elaborate. Let us go back to our selection of Bob. What is being described in the selection? Have you noticed the highlighted words? What are these? First, different, strictly, empty, disposable, washable. The words above are describing words. They are used to describe something in a sentence and in a paragraph, right? What is a descriptive paragraph? A descriptive paragraph describes a person. It can be an animal, a place, thing, and an idea. It usually begins with a describing sentence. Another example of a descriptive paragraph, the short woman had light brown hair. She wore a simple pink dress that fell at her knees. Her shoes were flat and black so she could run after the playing children. 
Her blue eyes were bright as she smiled watching her children play. So look at the highlighted words. Very short. It's a describing word. The word short describes the woman. Short woman. Another light brown hair. Light brown are describing words. It, these words describe hair. Simple pink. Yes, these are describing words. They describe the red dress. Okay. Flat and black. Right? These words describe the word shoes. Blue eyes. What's the color of the eyes? Alright. It is blue. Okay. See, another one is bright. So these are the example of describing words. They are used to describe a person, an animal, place, thing, and an idea. This paragraph is a descriptive paragraph because of the describing sentences. The short woman had light brown hair, one sentence. She wore a simple pink dress that fell at her knees, another sentence. Her shoes were flat and black so she could run after playing children, another sentence. Her blue eyes were bright as she smiled watching her children play, another sentence. So they were put together and it's a paragraph. A descriptive paragraph. Here are the steps in writing a descriptive paragraph. Phrase one, choose a favorite character, animal, object, or thing, or person. Imagine you want to describe this character, for example, an animal, like a pet, an object, or a person. So your goal is to let someone who has never seen or heard them will understand who or what they are. And then you're going to write two or three sentences describing the character. Like, my pet is a cat. It is small and yellow. So you're describing your pet. All right, they're going to make sentences. You should include how they look physically, what their voice sounds like, and any other details you can think of. So these are the steps in writing a descriptive paragraph. Let's dig in. You have to answer this on your own. After answering this, you pass it to your advisor. Okay, A, got it exercise. Fill in the blanks using describing words, my pet. My pet is, you can say cat, dog, goldfish, rabbit. My pet is a cat. It is, is it big, the size? Is it small? It is small. What's the color? Black, it is small and black. Its name is, what's your pet's name? Mine is, its name is JP, May May Mike, like that. It is cute. It is attitude and behavior. It is playful. It is active. I love him very much. I always make him happy by playing with him at a playground every afternoon. My pet is my best friend. Read the words in the bag. So this is the picture. We have two pictures here of different colors. These are the words. You're going to use them to answer. Let's answer this. I can see two cats. The big cat is orange. All right. It has a, uh, what, what's the color of the ribbon? It's red. Her name is Cat. The little cat is yellow. It has a pink hat and a pink ribbon. She's Cap. They are siblings and they are both 
cute and healthy. They love to play with each other. Let's remember, complete this. A descriptive paragraph describes that present, an animal, a place, a thing, or an idea. Remember, detailed information allows the reader to form a detailed image in his or her imagination. Let's apply. Now think of a topic. My topic here is about an animal. My pet. My pet is a cat. Its name is JB. It is cute. It is small and white. I love him very much. I always make him happy by playing with him at a playground every afternoon. My pet is my best friend. Yes. Let's apply. Write three to four describing sentences. This is the drawing. I named them Joseph and Anna. I wrote one, two, three, four sentences to make a paragraph. Joseph and Anna are best friends. Joseph has a short black hair. Anna has a short black hair hair too. They are both intelligent. Short, black, intelligent are describing words. Okay, short, black, hair, intelligent. All right, so this paragraph is an example of a descriptive paragraph. This Evaluate. You're going to answer this and pass this to your advisor. Don't forget to write your name. Of course, the subject phrase, English, the time, your name, complete name, and then section. You read this paragraph, then answer the question. And another one, let's evaluate. The question is make, or what you're going to do is make a short and simple paragraph that tells about the missing book. So your answers in this paragraph can be found in the library, the story or the paragraph about the library. Okay, so let's extend. Here you're going to describe something. I told you it can be an animal, a thing, a person. This is an example about an animal. Okay. That would be all, kids. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. And I hope you got all the correct answers. Congratulations. You've finished your week two module.